A haemophiliac who contracted hepatitis C after receiving contaminated blood products has told the public inquiry in Belfast that his community of sufferers has waited 40 years for their voices to be heard. Simon Hamilton is one of thousands of people who received infected blood in the 1970s and 80s. Our correspondent, Jane Lockery, has been following today's proceedings. Uh, Jane, what exactly did Simon Hamilton tell the inquiry today? Well, Simon Hamilton described himself as a mild haemophiliac and he gave a very emotional account of what his life is like after he contracted hepatitis C from an infected blood product. He said he now has cirrhosis of the liver. He has to get a scan every six months to see if he's got, he's got liver cancer, which of course is extremely distressing. And he fought back tears as he described having a brain hemorrhage a few years ago, watching his wife crying in a hospital corridor and knowing then what it was like to accept death. I share the pain. <laughs> and feel... Uh, the importance <coughs> of speaking for those who aren't here. And there are many, not only in, in Northern Ireland, but also um, in England, Wales and Scotland. Uh, we are a community of sufferers um, and we have to fight for our voice to be heard and we've waited for 40 years. We also heard this afternoon from Danielle Mullen. Her mother, Marie, contracted hepatitis C after a blood transfusion in 1981 and has had two liver transplants. Well, Danielle described what it was like in school. She was 16 when her mother was finally told she'd hepatitis C and what it was like in school whenever word spread about her mother's condition. It started to become quite apparent that some kids wouldn't stand too close to me. Some of them wouldn't touch a bottle that I had maybe lifted. Um, they wouldn't pass a ball to me, a netball. Um, it was like I'd become some sort of leper that no one could go near or touch. Danielle thanked the inquiry chairman for coming to Belfast and she hopes through this inquiry their answers will finally, um, they will finally get answers to all the questions that they deserve. Jean Lockery, we have to leave it there for now. Our correspondent, Jean Lockery, thank you.